Hello and welcome to The Gas Show. I'm your host, Jericho Patrick. This show is my attempt to make something on a weekly basis. Essentially, I'm just gonna be talking about stuff that interests me. Like this could be photo and video gear news, what I've been up to this week or month, coffee, D&D, &D, local politics, anything. Starting off, I am drinking a hot Dr. Pepper. I'm joking, it's not hot, that's crazy. This week I shot some behind the scenes for an equestrian photo shoot with Cam Mackey. I shot the whole thing on my iPhone. Uh, here are some clips. This is really interesting. I, I shot pretty much everything in cinematic mode and you can see a lot of the uh, artificial blur actually looks pretty good. Um, and then I got some pretty amazing shots. Hi Goose. Uh, with the cinematic mode, following the client running with her horse. I cannot believe the stabilization out of this image. It actually turned out great, and I was just holding the camera and physically running alongside, so that was super cool. I enjoyed shooting with the iPhone just because it was in my pocket. We tested out a couple other options with uh, some other cameras that we had, and it was a lot of kerfuffle for not a lot of image. And the iPhone was just so easy to whip out and take some nice video without getting in the way too much. So that's why we did that, and I think it turned out pretty good. We'll see how that footage gets used in Cam's video. This week's gonna have a lot of gear and gear acquisition syndrome stuff in it. Uh, I will be talking about all kinds of stuff in the future, but for now, that's what's been going on this week. Next up is uh, my current gear setup. I'm actually selling two of my primary photography kits. Uh, I'll show you real quick. I don't know how well you can see them with Goose on the table here, uh, but this is my Sony a6500. Um, I am selling this. This actually I just pulled out of a box because I packed it up. Somebody bought it on eBay, which is sick. And then this is my Mimia RB67. Uh, and I'm selling this whole kit as well. I have not yet sold it, but I've also not yet put it on eBay because uh, I'm gonna be teaching a friend how to use it later. So I'm selling those items and I think I'm going to pick up some type of Fujifilm kit, either the X-T5 or one of the GFX line, an older used one possibly. Oh, I made an entire YouTube video this week that I could not release because I fucked up the audio horribly. Uh, I had my lapel mic on and the gain in the camera was set far too high uh, from a previous shoot. Uh, and I can't believe I missed that. But here, I'm gonna break down my results because I did do the whole test. I just didn't actually get the uh, audio quality. Here's a clip of the audio quality. Okay, next move. Yeah, that, that's not great. Let's get into what the video was. I was testing my Sony camera versus my iPhone for shooting portraits and photography. I hypothesized that the AI from the iPhone had caught up to the better sensor that was in the Sony in terms of dynamic range. Uh, the iPhone, I, I just edited those photos in Visco and then I did my normal Lightroom pipeline with the Sony. Here are some of those results side by side. It's not that far off, but in my mind, the iPhone shots look a little bit better in some cases. And the close-up portrait where the Sony should shine, um, the iPhone's pretty much there. I don't think it's a replacement, but I do think it is wild how far iPhone photography has come. And it's kind of crazy. So that's what that video was about. Sadly, the messed up audio. That's, that's why we're here at the gas show. We are going to, uh, catch all that stuff that falls through the cracks and uh, bring you a good show. Next up, I took the train. Here in Redlands, the Amtrak opened up. I'm sure you can hear it in this video. It is honking nonstop, but I was in LA coming back from a show. I saw Channel 5, Andrew Callahan. The timing wasn't working out and basically Ashley needed to stay in LA and I needed to come home and she just dropped me off at Union Station. 
I took the train all the way back to Redlands, uh, which only took an hour and a half. I got off, I had a five minute walk back to my house. Uh, so that's some local news. Uh, and pretty soon they're gonna stop honking in the city. They just have to let people know that the train is back for approximately like two months or something like that. Next up, I wanna circle back to this show. I've been thinking about doing a variety show for about six months now. Uh, I just want something to be able to record weekly, even if I don't have like a single concept to make an entire video about. I am looking to do uh, interviews. I've got so many friends and uh, people that I know that just have super interesting lives and do really interesting things that I just, I would love to talk about and have documented. So they're gonna join me at the card table at some point. But this week, that was it. You may be wondering what does GAS stand for? And this week, it stands for Gear Acquisition Syndrome. But next week, it could stand for something totally different.